In this video, we're going to look at a risk-neutral utility function and do an example problem. So risk-neutral. A risk-neutral person prefers the option with the highest expected value. A risk-neutral person would be indifferent between a guaranteed $100 and taking a risky gamble with an expected value of $100. For example, if heads shows you get $200. If tail shows, you win nothing. The expected value of that gamble is $100. So a risk-neutral person would be indifferent between a guaranteed $100 and facing a gamble with an expected value of $100. A risk-neutral person has constant marginal utility of wealth or income. It's not diminishing. The utility curve is a straight line. It has a constant slope where marginal utility is just a slope of the utility curve. Maximizing expected value will maximize utility. Let's take a look at a risk-neutral utility function. So utility equals A times W. A is just a parameter that's greater than zero, zero and W is wealth or income. The exponent on wealth must be 1. So if you were to graph this, it's just going to be a straight line utility curve, constant slope. All right, let's do a problem. Mike is considering an investment that has a 0.4 chance that pays $2,000 and a 0.6 chance that pays $4,000. Mike's utility function is U equals 10 times W. What is the expected utility? So the expected utility is going to be 0 0.4 times 10 times W plus 0 0.6 times 10 times W. This 10 times W is just a utility function, and the 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 refer to the probability of either getting $2,000 or $4,000. So in our next step here, we're just going to plug in for W. There's a 40% chance that W will be 2000 so I make that substitution here. And there is a 60% chance that W is 4000 making that substitution. Now just simplifying this, 10 times 2000 is 20,000, 10 times 4000 is 40,000. Simplifying further, the expected utility is 32,000. Okay, this is units, this is not dollars now. Let's look at the expected value of this investment. So the expected value of this investment is there's a 40% chance that you'll have $2,000 plus a 60% chance that you'll have $4,000. So the expected value of this investment is $3,200. We can calculate the utility of the expected value, the utility of the expected value, by plugging this 3200 into the utility function. So utility is 10 times W. Evaluating the utility function at the expected value, we get 32,000. From the last slide, we observed that the expected utility was 32,000. So for a risk-neutral person, expected utility will equal the utility of the expected value. So the expected utility of 32,000 equals the utility of the expected value. So that's somewhat, the wording here can be kind of confusing, but the utility of the expected value is just evaluating the utility function at the expected value of the investment. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.